Hello everyone. My name is Jasjeet Singh. I'm a professor at INSEAD and it's a pleasure to get to talk to you a little bit about my thoughts on impact in the context of venture capital and private equity. And the focus here is to say, of course, we are uh, striving to make money, but can we make money in a responsible way, in a way that also contributes positively uh, to the world that we live in? So the opening uh, scenario here to keep in mind is that the world around us is rapidly changing. You know, whether we think of pressure from uh, activists, whether we ourselves as citizens look at issues like climate change and inequality, whether we look at regulation and see changes like uh, the cost of carbon uh, being increasingly uh, brought into conversations. Similarly, if we look at the employees that uh, we hire, uh, the, especially the next generation, the customers that we work with, Here's an example of my two children who are very keen on plant-based meat. So this shows, you know, there's also an opportunity in uh, thinking of issues like resolving uh, climate change dilemmas as business opportunities. So in the past, the conversations that we used to have about, hey, this is about impact, this is typically thinking of this as philanthropy, while, hey, this is about investing, it's all about shareholder value and profits. Those conversations we see are increasingly converging. And uh, the, the trick, of course, is still to see how can we maximize the overlap between, on the one hand, uh, we are satisfying our fiduciary duty, we are making money as is the mandate if you are running a for-profit fund, but also in the process, you're contributing positively to the world. And in thinking about this, I usually like to separate these three conversations, the conversations about venture philanthropy, which is about putting impact first to a point where you might actually be losing money. The second is impact investing, which is this relatively new space that has come up very strongly in the past decade or so, um, on saying, can we find that sweet spot where we really are having a lot of impact, but also making money at the same time. And then the third is just more broadly, the entire finance arena is uh, shifting more and more into sustainable and responsible uh, investing, especially uh, with conversations around uh, ESG and so on that we see uh, happening. So I'm obviously going to focus more on the right side of this picture, which is how can we make money and, and very often make money in a way in which at least the compromises are not big, or if anything, um, you know, we are able to make money at the same levels as we would expect in normal venture capital and PE, but at the same time contribute positively uh, to, to, to the world. So just to be clear a little bit about you know the definition of impact investing which is one particular lens that people find useful uh, when we talk about impact investing people are talking about hey we want to make the returns in line with our goals but at the same time we have a very deliberate intention for generating certain kinds of impact but most importantly it's not just about having those intentions it's actually having a very clear strategy and management which in turn depends on, of course, measurement around issues of impact, right? So when we talk about impact investing, some people think, hey, this is about investing to lose money. And that's actually not true. So if you do a survey of the major impact investors today, at least two thirds of them would say, we still have the same financial goals that any other investor would typically have. And less than one third of them usually would say we are uh, willing to uh, accept a compromise, certainly a significant compromise for, for having impact uh, in, in the process. Does that practically happen? Well, it's a relatively new space, but certainly uh, the track record that's increasingly building up is that it is possible to simultaneously um, make money while running a impact-focused fund. Now, 
importantly, you know, in these conversations, people say, hey, you're making the money, but are you having the impact? And very often the answer to that is yes, if the impact is not just sort of a cost on the side, impact is built into the business model so that having impact is actually fundamental to how you make money. And this is the example of Ruanguru uh, uh, Enterprise in Indonesia, which is an ed tech platform, which the more you reach out to low income customers who are depending on you to, to, to uh, you know, make up for a lack of high quality education at school to ultimately may get into college, you know, the better it is for your business as well as the better it is for, for your impact. So in a way, the holy grail is the so-called uh, lockstep business model or collinearity between making impact and having money. Um, of course, you know, there are different kinds of investors and some kind of investors, for example, Acumen uh, would say, well, we work with really tough populations where it's not always possible to balance uh, those in a perfect way. So there are trade-offs and we will take sacrifices. On the other hand, you know, there are certain funds like Generations uh, Private Equity, which says we will not even use the word uh, impact investing. We are just going to uh, think of impact in all investments that we do. And we want to target the more mainstream market, um, even in the process of doing that so that we don't use the label uh, impact. So what we end up with is, we end up with a little bit of a spectrum where on the left-hand side of the traditional philanthropy and the concessionary impact investors, which are saying, we are working on impact issues where trade-offs are involved, but then the larger impact investing funds and certainly the sustainable investing and ESG investing kind of funds would say, we are relying more and more on market forces uh, to generate impact in a way that's consistent with uh, making money. Now, in all of this, of course, there's this conversation that comes up on are you just impact washing or is the impact real? You know, we've seen um, the, the worst case of that uh, happening where uh, funds meant for impact are sucked into a private equity fund, which might uh, have been... Uh, saying that they're going to have impact, but it ends up being uh, a, a straight up, perhaps a case of misleading the investors. The more trickier space is when the funds actually are genuine and well-intentioned, but in their measurement processes and in the way the things work on the ground, the focus is much more in the end still on making money in a way to is demonstrated but on the impact side, there's a sloppiness in actually making sure whether or not uh, there is uh, impact. So I think if you really want to be sincere about impact, the first question to ask is what realistically are your impact goals given the mandate of your fund? Uh, and this is a classification impact management project uses saying, well, there are three kinds of impact, the ABC of impacts, if you will, the A is avoiding harm, for example, minimizing your negative carbon footprint. B is the benefiting your stakeholders, which is about being best in class in, in uh, implementing solutions. Uh, but C is actually contributing to solutions, which is saying we are going to come up with innovations that do better than what is available out there because we are serving um, really critical needs, which, are, which have just been historically neglected. The other thing to keep in mind um, is just being very clear on, on these five dimensions of impact, which is what uh, is the outcome that we're seeking? Who are we serving? How much difference in outcomes are we making? You know, what is our unique contribution in helping achieve those outcomes? And what might be potential risks that prevent possibly the impact from being realized. And this has to be very actively managed if you're really serious uh, about impact. On top of that, you know, that's the investor's perspective, but you also ask the question, what does the investor contribute, right? And typically people say, hey, it's about providing flexible capital. It's about potentially being willing to lose money. Well, that is true sometimes, but there are other ways in which investors can contribute without necessarily compromising financial returns, which is, you know, signaling on issues where impact is central. 
engaging actively with your investors in making sure that the impact goals are pursued, and very often looking in the uh, critical but undersupplied and neglected uh, markets and seeing these are important issues for which we need to fund solutions and the money has to come from somewhere, right? It can't be all aid and government money because the needs are just too big for just philanthropic money or government money to fill that, that gap. But if you're really serious about impact, the key then is, you know, and this is IFC's operating principles for impact management, it's to say, you know, you can't just say I want to have impact or have intuition about it. Impact issues have to be built in throughout your investment process, exactly like you would build in issues of uh, making uh, money. And it's the measurement, right? End-to-end -end measurement and integration of impact into all of your processes right from the start of looking for opportunities to invest to how you manage them and even ultimately how you exit that really makes sure that you're going to have the impact that, that you want. And let me just finish with this last slide to say in the end it's a little bit of a spectrum again. You know you as a single organization might sometimes even have multiple funds and some of the funds are more on the venture philanthropy and concessionary impact investing side where you are serving issues where compromises are involved, but certainly there's a lot of opportunities also for finance to do things where making money and having impact can indeed go uh, hand in hand and there might not be a compromise. And these really are compliments and not substitutes. So I hope you found some of these thoughts useful and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you very much. <laughs>